Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you, we can call it the hidden quest or maybe yeah, for just for chests, hidden puzzle. I don't know if you remember, from the world quest Apocalypse Lost, we successfully found all the five chess pieces and put them on the chessboard here. If you don't know how to get them, I will still show you now how to get them. Uh, I will go in order of how we did the world quests, okay? First of all, here, at the first part of the um, world quest, do you remember when we successfully dra like, uh, uh, clear the sand here? This door will uh, spawn, we can go inside and find the bottle, etc, etc. Yeah, basically the first chest is just there. As you can see, King Dishred Spiller. This is the first uh, key we need. Now, the second one is at here. Basically, the first part of the encombed blah 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 uh, with the golem I forgot. But, anyways, just teleport to this teleport waypoint. And you have to go inside that room we already been while doing that uh, world quest. Item. Border phone. Now, next one is here. So teleport to this teleport waypoint. This is from the second part of that encombed blah 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 with the golem. So just teleport to here and uh, go in front of you in that room. Open it. Soul fairy. Now, the last one, not the last one, the next one is here at the, this teleport waypoint. Just come here. This is from the third part of that thing called the blah 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 mission, I forgot the name. Just uh, jump down. Yeah, at that room above you. So. Open it. Last one, guys. Last one is a place which you can unlock by doing the Falcon's Hunt. So, the pre requirement for the Fallen Halcon. Teleport to this teleport waypoint behind you. Okay, go downside. I don't know if you remember when you doing when you did the uh, world quest of the Falcon's Hunt. Huh? Like uh, uh, your bottle will uh, discover this hiding room. You can go inside, get the memory, and finally, this chest will spawn after the dialogue and cutscene. Open it to get the last past mm -hmm. part. Temple of uh, uh, Gurbet. Now, once we got all the five pieces, we have to come back to the safety uh, Shatrange. And just to place the five pieces of chests on the chessboard. So after you put the five chess pieces on the chessboard, we can... Uh, it's not finished yet, because um, that is only the requirement to do the Apocalypse Lost. Now we can, like, uh, install this activation device on them. There are seven in total we need to find them for, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I already marked them on uh, their location on the map, so you can just uh, follow... Uh, just follow me. We're gonna start them one by one, so... Let's just start from the Arrow Village. This one, teleport to this teleport waypoint. This one is literally in front of uh, uh, the teleport waypoint here. Just touch it and follow it. Pick up. Activation device, Border Fort. Let's go to the sec second one. Second one is here at um, Kemenu Temple. This teleport waypoint underground. Once you teleport here, on your left side, so go inside this room on your left side. You will find it, right here. So, follow it. And pick it up. This one, activation device, Soul Fairy. Next one is here at the teleport waypoint of the mausoleum of the Dishret. Just teleport here and watch behind. You immediately see it under the stairs.
Yeah. Pick it up. The mouse alone for King Dish. Right? Nice. Next one is here. How to reach this point? Just teleport to this teleport waypoint underground. And uh, it's basically here in front of the entrance for that temple. So let's teleport upstairs. Here we go. Touch it. And just to follow it. Pick it up. King Dishret's pillar. Only mm, three remains. Let's go to the Kajini suit. This one, teleport waypoint. I, I guess you already guessed where is it, just in front of the Kajini suit. Come here and start to follow it. Get up. Kajini suit. Next one is here at um, the, the teleport waypoint where we have the elevator to go to the eternal oasis. So just uh, here. Okay, pick it up. This one, guys, is here at the several uh, Shatrange, basically at the top side of the building, the entrance where we been at the beginning of the world quest the, the dirge of bilkis and pick up temple of gorobad so let's start them one by one this is the at the arrow village from here install hmm. a chest will spawn now install here as well this is the kajinisut this is the boat okay this one is the mausoleum of the shred this is the pillar okay and this is just this temple above us. Now only one remain, which is that. This is that uh, platform we use to fly um, to the eternal oasis. Install. La Luna Rossa. Oh, wow. So this achievement has an Italian name. La Luna Rossa means mm, the Red Moon. Once you put all the seven... Um, uh, activation keys on the corresponding chest on this chessboard. You will get the seven of the remarkable chests and an achievement as well. Now let's just open the seven. Remember, the seven will not be included in the chest hunt. So remember to collect them after you finish uh, this small part, because in the chest hunt video of the new Sumer, uh, Sumer Desert area will not include the seven. So this one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You know what? I thought they could give us like furnitures with the same same appearance of this statue. It would be so cool if you can put these buildings in your teapot, right? Anyways, that's it, guys. Hope this video helped you to. Uh, to finish this uh, small puzzle and collect all the seven remarkable chests. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!